In the previous video, we talked about the double integral over rectangle. However, sometimes the domain of the integration turns out not to be the rectangle. It can be bounded by two curves, like in this picture. So you see that you have y equal to g1 and y equal to g2, and it's going to be over the interval a, b. So if you have two curves, let's say g1 and g2 and you have the region s bounded by these two curve over the interval a b and you like to find the double integral over s so you see that you like to find the double integral over s so you're gonna have y equal to g1 run to y equal to g2. So y equal to g1 run to y equal to g2, like in this case, okay? And you have x cover from a to b. So you have x lie between a and b. So for this one, it's gonna be y equal to g1, y equal to c2, and you have x lie between a and b. So the way to set it up is going to turn out to be you're going to have integral from g1 to g2 that take care of the variable y, you see here, and you have uh, x going to cover from a to b that you see here. So this one is going to cover for x for you. So it's going to be x between a and b and y between g1 and g2. So this is your first situation. The second situation you have integral, you have the picture that saying that you have x equal to h1y, okay? So it's going to be x equal to h1y on the left side. And you have x equal to, I used the wrong color, sorry. So for this one, it should be g2 with the pink color. Okay, so it's going to be the green guy to the pink guy. And you have, uh, x equal to h2y, this guy is the blue color, like this one, and you see that you have s gonna bound it by x equal to h1y and x equal to h1, uh, h2y, and you have y between c and d, okay, so you have y between c and d in this case, so you see that it's going to be integral from the left side to the right side. The left side is going to be the smaller and it's going to be to the higher one, which is x equal to h2y. So in this case, it's going to be the purple one to the blue one. Okay, so it's going to be y cover in that part, sorry, x cover in that part, and you have y going to cover from c to d. Okay, so how would we know that we're going to set up something like this? It's going to turn out to be because you see that the region bounded by between two curves inside. So the inside guy turned out to be curve. Okay, so the inside one turned out to be curve and it's going to be over the interval AB. And you see in the second case that you have X turn out to be between the purple curve and the blue curve. Okay, so this one is the curve also. So the curve will be inside and you have the constant. Okay, so from A to B, as you can see here, from A to B here, turn out to be constant. So the principle for doing this one turn out to be you're going to have the curve inside and the constant outside. Okay, so the curve will be inside and the constant turn out to be outside. I give you one example first. So we like to find the double integral, okay? Uh, whereas 
is the region bounded by the line y equal to 2x and the parabola y equal to x square. So in this case, you see that if you consider, okay, so I have the green one, okay. So you see that if I have the green curve, which is y equal to x square, and you have the pink one, which is y equal to 2x, okay? So you see that it can be considered as you have y between, okay? So it's gonna be y between x square and 2x. So this one is y between two curves, which are the green curve and the pink curve, okay? And you have x gonna cover from zero to two. Okay, so you have x gonna cover from zero to two. Okay, so you have x gonna cover from zero to two. So in this case, this double integral is gonna, you have curves inside. So this guy turned out to be integral, integral, and you have y minus x and you have y, so you have dy inside and you have dx outside. And it's gonna be running from y equal to x square to y equal to 2x, okay? So it's gonna run from y equal to x square to y equal to 2x. And x gonna cover from zero to two. Okay, so this one is the double integral that you are looking for. Everything is correct, but I just like to write this one clearer. Okay, so y equal to x squared, y equal to 2x. Okay, and you see the variable y. So you have dy inside. Or some of you may argue that, hey, can we do this one in x in terms of y instead? If you have x in terms of y, you see that this one will be the purple curve, x equal to one half y, and you have the blue one turn out to be x equal to square root y. So it can run from left to right, Okay, so it can run from left to right. So it's going to be double integral. And you see that x lie between two curves, which are y over two. And so square root y, and you have y between zero to four. So y between zero to four, uh, zero to four. So it's going to be, you have y lie between zero to four, and you have x lie between y over two to square root y. Okay, so it's going to be y over two to square root y. Let me write in terms of x equal to, okay. I use x equal to in order to give you a idea that the x dy, okay, I write x equal to in order to emphasize on the variable that you have x equal to y over two and on top you have x equal to root y, okay. So you see that these two set up are not identical as before. So if you see from the rectangle, you see the rectangle, you see you can just interchange the integral and you see that A, B, C, D not gonna change. Okay, so you see A, B turn out to be outside, C, D turn out to be inside. However, if it turn out to be over general region like this, you see it's not gonna be just switching. So you cannot just switch this guy to this guy and this guy to this guy and you obtain the x dy. It's not happen that way. You need new aspect in viewing the picture. 
So the thing that I like to emphasize will be you need new aspect in order to view the picture. So this one is going to be running horizontal when we have y between two curves. Okay, so y equal to x squared and y equal to 2x. And now here is going to be another aspect when you have x on the left curve and x on the right curve. Okay, it's not the same like you can switch this guy to this guy and this guy to this guy and you're going to get the new integral. It's not going to happen that way. Okay, so for this one, you're going to be able to compute both of them and obtain the value. I'm going to compute both of them for you to see whether you get everything identical. Okay, so it's going to be, let me compute the first one. The first one turned out to be intricate from 0 to 2, intricate from y equal to x square to y equal to 2x. Okay, of y minus x dy dx. Okay. So you're gonna intricate this one as, so you're gonna intricate the inside first, okay? So you're gonna intricate the inside first. So you intricate y dy, you would get y squared over two minus xy, okay? And as before, okay, I like to warn you a little bit that you need y equal to, in order to warn yourself a little bit that you're going to put y first and then you put x. So here it's going to be, you're going to put y equal to 2x subtract by y equal to x squared. So this would allow you to have 2x so square over 2 minus x times 2x. So this is the first one. Subtract by x square, so square over 2 minus x times x square. Okay, so this is the second one. And then you're going to simplify this one. So after the simplification, the thing that you must have will turn out to be 2x square minus 2x square. Okay. And this one will be 1 half x to the fourth minus x to the third. Okay. So this is going to be, you have 2x minus 2x square minus 1 half uh, x to the fourth plus x cubed. So you see that this one and this one cancel each other. So you're going to end up with intricate 0 to 2. Yeah, so you're going to copy down the outside. So it's going to be intricate 0 to 2 and you have dx. Okay, and you can continue intricating this guy. So this guy turned out to be negative one half. Okay, so it's going to be equal to equal to and it's going to be negative one half x to the fifth over five plus x to the fourth over four from zero to two. Okay, you don't need to put x equal to now because it's only one variable x, so you cannot miss it. So this one is going to turn out to be 1 over 2 to the 5 over 10 plus 2 to the 4 over 4. And it's going to be negative 3.2. Okay, so it's going to be negative 3.2 plus 4 equal to 0. 8. Okay, so this one will be the answer for the first integral. For the second integral, it's going to be kind of the same. Okay, so let me compute it here. It must be exactly the same. So this one is going to be intricate 0 to 4 from y, not y, x equal to 
one half y and you have x equal to root y of the same function y minus x d x dy okay so we do this one in a similar way so you're gonna compute the inside integral first so you're gonna compute this one first so this would give you y x minus x square over 2 from x equal to 1 half y to x equal to root y okay so you get y root y minus root y square over 2 okay and minus you have y time one half y minus you have one half one half y square okay so this one will be just this guy okay and you are integrating zero to four okay so you gonna have integrate zero to four dy Okay, so this one a little bit complicated because you have to deal with fraction. So it's going to be 0 to 4 and y root y is y to the 3 half, okay, minus y over 2 and you have minus 1 half y square and it's going to turn out to be plus 1 quarter. Uh, y square dy okay so this one you have dy and you have the outside integral okay so I wait for you a little bit to digest okay I think I make a mistake right so this one should be 8 this one should be 8. So it's going to be negative 1 half. Okay, so negative 1 half uh, minus 1 8. Okay, so it's turned out to be integral. So we're going to simplify first. So it's going to be integral from 0 to 4 of y to the 3 half minus y over 2 minus 3 over 8 y square dy and you gonna just give me this integral so it's gonna be y to the 5 over 2 over 5 over 2 okay minus one half y square over two minus three eight and you have y cube over three from zero to four and this guy you're gonna plug in y equal to zero subtract by y equal to four so you get to fib uh, four to the five over two minus one quarter four square minus one eight uh, four to the third okay and four to the one quarter so it's gonna turn out to be 32 over five okay minus four okay and eight so it's gonna be plus eight uh, so sorry it's going to be minus 8 okay so it's going to be uh, sorry this one is 64 so it's going to be I think I think it should be better I, I have it correctly but I forgot my 2 uh, let me write this one in this way so it's going to be 2 fib some 32 okay and this one okay if you have everything correctly it should be 64 minus 60 over 5 okay 
and this guy will turn out to be four fifth and it's turned out to be 0 0.8 as well okay so this one will be just 0 0.8 Okay, so that will be the all calculation that you have. Okay. So you see that both of them give you the same answer. So you just have to pick wisely in order to get the answer faster. So you see that if you use the red guy, it's going to be faster because you not have to deal with the y to the fraction like in the case that you have the red one okay so in the green one you see that you may have to deal with y to the three quarter and it's kind of more complicated to do okay so just pick one to integrate for value and you're going to obtain 0 0.8 quite easy Okay, the next one, you like to find the double integral of log absolute value of x over y square dA, where s is the region bounded by the line y equal to x and y equal to 2x over x between 1 and 3. So if you graph this function or if you graph the region is is going to be so you have this one okay so you have this one so you're going to have the region from one two three so one two three and it's going to be y equal to x and y equal to 2x so y equal to x is going to be just a straight line like this and y equal to 2x is going to turn out to be another straight line that may be more uh, slope in that case so you see it's going to be from one to three okay so for one to three here it's going to be you gonna just have only region s which is this piece Okay, so the region S is look like the piece between the red curve and the green curve and the green one is y equal to x and the red one is y equal to 2x and you see that this guy is turned out to be, you see that it's going to be running up okay so you have y between the red one and the green one so you have x less than y less than 2x and you have x lie between 1 to 3 okay so you're gonna set up only one way like i said no need to set up both way because we gonna just find the value of this double integral so it's gonna be integral integral and you're gonna have one two three for log absolute x over y square and you see that you're gonna have x outside and you have y between two curves so it's gonna be inside for y okay so you're gonna have dy dx okay and you see that your x turned out to cover from one to three okay so your x will cover from one to three and y turn out to be y equal to x and y equal to 2x okay so you have y equal to x y equal to 2x and you have log absolute x over y square and for this one okay and for this one you're gonna integrate inside outside let me compute inside for you okay so the inside will be you gonna have log x which turn out to be constant okay so this one turn out to be constant
So it's gonna be log absolute x and you're gonna integrate, okay? So you're gonna integrate y equal to x to y equal to 2x, okay? And you have one over y square, one over y square dy, okay? And you have log absolute x, and you have negative one over y, you have y equal to x, y equal to two x, okay? So this one will be log absolute x, okay? And you have minus one over two x plus, okay, so it's going to be one over x. So you see that you're gonna plug in y equal to 2x and y equal to x into the equation like this. And then what? And then you're gonna end up with log absolute x. And this guy minus minus become plus, okay? So it's gonna be one minus one half. So it would give you one half. So it's gonna be one over two x. Okay, so this one is the inside integral. The next one is going to be, you're going to have to copy down the outside integral. So you're going to copy dx down and you're going to copy uh, from one to three down. So in this case, this one is your dx. Okay, so it's going to be dx Okay, and it's gonna be from zero up to three, and this one will be shoop, like this, okay, zero up to three. So for this one, it's gonna be one over two, and you integrate zero to three, log absolute x over x dx. And you're gonna use the substitution. So you're gonna let you to be log absolute x. When you dip log absolute x, it's going to be 1 over x. Okay, it's going to be 1 over x dx. Or you can see that your x, ah, sorry, it's not from 0 to 3, so it's going to be from 1 to 3. Yeah. From 1 to 3. 1 to 3. Okay, so 1, 1. 1, 1, 2, 3. So in this case, you see that, let me erase it. So it's going to be integral from 1 to 3, and this one is outside, okay? So you see that it's integrate from 1 to 3, so your x will be positive, you can just ignore x. Okay, so sorry, you can just ignore absolute value. Okay, so here you can erase absolute value. Or actually, so this one is going to be your x. Okay, so this one because x is positive. Okay, so absolute value or with or without absolute value not making anything different. So you see that it's going to be just log x in this case. And then you see that it's going to be one half. Okay, so it's going to be one half and integrate log absolute x. So it's going to be u equal to one. So you have not u equal to one, x equal to one x equal to 1, so you get u equal to log 1 equal to 0, and x equal to 3, you get u, you get u equal to log 3, so it's going to be integrate from 0 to log 3 of u du, okay? And this guy turned out to be one half u square over two, zero to log three, okay? So this one will be one quarter log three square, okay? And that's it.
Okay, so this one is the total answer for the double integral over this region. The next one, you like to evaluate the integral over S, where S is the region bounded by Y as is Y equal to 4 and the parabola Y equal to X square with X positive. So let's graph this guy a little bit. So you have this one, Y equal to Y as is. Okay, so this one is Y as is. Y equal to 4. Y equal to 4. And the parabola, Y equal to X square. So the parabola, Y equal to X square. Gonna turn out to be this picture. Okay, so this one. Okay, good enough. And then you have y equal to x square, y equal to 4, and it's going to be 0, and it's going to be 2, okay? And you see that the region is turned out to be the region that bounded by this tree curve, okay? So you have y equal to 4. How would I know this guy is going to be 2? Because you have y equal to 4, so you have here, Okay, 4 equal to x squared, so you would get x equal to 2 or negative 2, and you are on the positive side. Okay, so positive. So you have x equal to 2 in this case, and you see that this one is going to be the double integral, and yeah, the double integral. So you have the double integral of x e to the y square dx dy. And you see your x gonna run from, okay? So your x gonna run from x equal to root y, okay? So here is gonna be, so here you have the green one, which is x equal to root y. And you have this guy, which is x equal to zero. And the way this guy run gonna be from left to right, okay? So you see that the left curve is x equal to zero, and the right curve is the green curve, which is x equal to root y. It must be in terms of x because you are doing the x. Okay, so you are doing dx. So it's going to be, you have to put x equal to zero for the lower limit to x equal to root y for the upper limit. Okay, so this one is going to be from left side to right side. Okay, so from the left side to the right side. And you have y going to cover from zero to the point that you have y equal to 4. So this one is going to look like this. So it's going to be 0 to 4. Okay. And then this one will be the double integral that you are going to integrate. So this one you're going to have to let, uh, you're going to integrate the inside and the integrate the outside. Okay, so you're going to integrate the inside and you're going to integrate the outside. I will let you do by yourself first, so, and I give you the solution later during the recitation. Okay, so let's try this one first to check whether you understand how to compute for value of this double integral. Okay, so this one will be just the double integral. The next one that it's going to be more fun. It's going to be you like to find the average value. The formula for the average value turn out to be if you have the function f x y and the question asks you to find the average value of the function f. It means that it's going to be sum of all the value of the function f on the region s. So this represent by computing the volume, okay? So this represent by this guy, okay? So this, the thing that I just highlight is gonna be sum 
or the value or the value of f x y over s okay so it's going to be some or the value of f x y over s so this one is going to be the purple one and the purple one can be obtained from double integral over s of f x y okay and you gonna divide by the area of the region s okay so if you read the word problem here you see that the population density function of a coastal town located on an island is described by the following function okay so you have this one we like to find the population inside okay so the population density okay so the population density this one will give you the density of the population on this local uh, coastal town here. So in order to find the population, it's going to be just, you just find the double integral over D of F X Y D A. Okay, so this one going to give you the total population. And it's going to be the second question that asks you, what is the average population density in D? So for the second one, it's going to be the area. Okay, so it's going to be the population in A. And it's going to divide by the area of the region D. Okay, so it's going to be divided by the area of the region D. So in this case, you're going to just use the thing that you have in A, and you're going to divide by the area of the region D, and this one turned out to be what? This one turned out to be uh, just, you have x between 0 to 4 and y between negative 2 to 0. If you sketch this region, uh, it's going to turn out to be 0 to 4 and you have negatives 2 to 0. So this one will be d. Okay, so this one will be D, and the region turn uh, the region turn ha turn out to have the area equal to four times two equal to eight. Okay, so that will be the area. So I let you do this example uh, for your homework. Okay, so I let you do this example for your homework. You have to compute the population in question A for me, and you just divide by eight, you're gonna get the average population. Okay, uh, sorry, you're gonna, uh, yeah, you're gonna get the average population density in D. Uh. So the thing that I will do is gonna be this example instead. So this one is seem more complicated okay so it's gonna be yeah you like to find the average value of f x y equal to one over root y plus one over the rectangle with the vertices zero zero one zero and one one yeah so let's graph this guy a little bit so you have three points zero zero one zero and one one so this one will be uh, the thing that you need to graph. Okay, so it's gonna be shoop, shoop. Okay, so you have, so you have three point which are zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero here and one, one. Okay, so you have three point and one 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 zero okay so you form a rectangle okay so you have from a rectangle like this okay so it's gonna be one zero and zero zero so you see that this is gonna be the region is 
okay so it's going to be the region s and the curve that you have here which is 0 0 1 1 so this guy will be the line y equal to x okay so and x and y are the same you see 1 1 so it's going to be the line y equal to x and this one is going to be vertical line vertical line is going to be y equal to 1 Okay, so this one is going to be y equal to 1. And this guy is going to be the y at uh, the x axis. So it's going to be x equal to 0. Okay, so you have this guy ready for you. So you have f x y. So let phi uh, integrate over s of f x y. Okay, so it's going to be f x y da. So it's going to be the double integral of, so it's gonna be one over root y plus one, okay? So you, in this case, I gonna have y run first because it's kind of simple. This one is not x equal to zero, right? <laughs> it's gonna be y equal to zero, sorry about that, okay? So this one is gonna be x equal to one, I don't know okay so it's going to be i'm switching the variable in my head a little bit so it's going to be x equal to one for the vertical line and it's going to be y equal to zero for the horizontal line okay and in this case i would use dy dx okay so i would use dy dx because you see that it's going to be so simple to have y equal to zero to y equal to x so it's going to be in this form okay so it's going to be y equal to zero let me put y equal to zero to y equal to x okay and it's going to be x going to cover from zero to one for me okay and then you're gonna integrate this one. So you're gonna have integral zero to one and you're gonna just integrate the inside only. So the inside only is gonna be the yellow integral. Let's compute only the yellow integral. So it's gonna be, uh, you have one over y plus one. So quite root like this, you're gonna let u, okay? So you're gonna let u to be, let me enlarge this one. So you let u to be y plus one and you have du equal to dy and you have uh, y equal to zero. So you would get u equal to one and you have y equal to x, so you get u equal to x plus 1. So it's going to be intricate, 1 to x plus 1, 1 over root u, du, okay? And you still have dx outside. And so you see that this guy will be 2 root u, from 1 to x plus 1. So it's going to be 2 root x plus 1 minus 2 root 1. Okay. And you're going to have integrate from 0 to 1 dx for me. Okay. So this guy turned out to be just 2. Okay. So it's going to be just 2. So we're going to continue the integration so you see that this one again you can just use the substitution or you can just integrate this one okay so this guy turned out to be two and you have x plus one to the three half over three half okay so let me teach you a little bit here for some of you that may not know. So you let v equal to x plus one and dv equal to dx, okay? So intricate, so square root v dv. So intricate, so square root x plus one dx will become intricate, so square root v plus uh, not v plus v dv and you gonna just have this one okay minus 2x 
from zero to one, okay? So you get four third, okay? So you get four third and you have x plus one to the three half minus two x from zero to one, okay? So you gonna have equal to okay so you gonna have equal to four third okay two to the three half minus two okay and you gonna subtract by four third one to the three half minus zero okay so this one will be two parentheses and then for your final answer, it's gonna be four third two to the three half, and you have minus two minus four third. Okay, so this one will be your final answer. You may combine to obtain uh, 10 over three, that five. Okay, so this one is gonna be four third, times two to the three half minus 10 over three for your final answer. Okay, so this one will be just how to calculate the double integral, okay? And we need the average value. So for the average value, so for the average value is turned out to be this guy, divide by the area. So the area of S turned out to be the area of the rectangle. Okay, sorry, the triangle. So the area of S turned out to be equal to one half in this case. I have no space. <laughs> so let me write it here. So the area of S equal to one half. Okay, so the area of S equal to one half, area of S equal to one half. Okay, so you gonna just have this number dy by one half and you obtain the average. Okay, so let me write. So it's gonna be four third time two to the three half minus 10 over three, everything over one half, and you get the area. Okay, so you get the area for this one. Okay, so that's it for this clip. In the next video, we're gonna find what? We're gonna find the volume of the solid. Okay, so it's gonna be three examples for the next clip. Okay, so don't forget to do this homework. Okay, please find the population in uh, this island for me.